Hello, my lockdown friends. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all keeping safe and following the, the necessary guidelines to keep everyone else safe. Um, so thanks for tuning into this video. Today's topic is all about the Moneybox app and how that has been impacted recently um, by the stock crash, the stock market crash that was, you know, as a result of the, the recent virus 19 issues. Um, so let's not waste any time. Let's jump right in and hang around to the end and I can, I can give you uh, some tips on, on what to do um, and how to, you know, make the most out of the, the Moneybox app going forwards. All right, let's take a look. So you don't need to be an investment expert or a professional trader or an economist to know that there's been a serious stock crash recently, you know, up to 30% on all stock exchanges um, across all markets globally, um, you know, a huge, huge disruption to um, the global markets as a result of the, you know, the virus 19 um, impacting a, a lot of businesses and you know there are countries literally shutting down so no surprise that there was that huge uh, stock market crash and it came out of nowhere you know n no forecasters were can predict this this type of scenario um, so how does this impact our investments or our savings in in the money box app you know that that really is the key question of, the, of, of this video and and obviously our the the total value of our investments in the money box app will be down so let's just jump into to my app right now and i can show you what's happened Alrighty, just about to open up the money box app i'm just going to cover my screen while i enter my pin and here we go here's the the new look front screen of the money box app um, it's all the same information. They've just made it a, a lot nicer and in line with their their new marketing materials. So um, at the top, you can see the value. Um, if you scroll down, you can see recent transactions. The bits that I'm most interested in is on the tab at the bottom where you see accounts and the the bar graph. If you click on that, you can see at the top there stocks and shares ISA current earnings that's really the important figure so 376 pounds 54p it's actually minus 41 pounds 94p which is a little over 10 percent down so performance overall is minus 10 percent um, and if you click on it, it you go into this section um, and you can see the equity funds that I'm actually invested in. So there's a, a Vanguard Life strat Strategy, you know, very well regarded uh, fund, Fidelity Index World, highly regarded fund, iShares Global Property Equity. Um, and then there's a small amount in bond funds, the iShares Overseas Corporate Bond Index. Um, so all of this is, is interesting to me and to any, you know, investors that are interested in which funds their money is going into for the general person that's not interested they just want to put money aside get it invested into something and forget about it and just let it um you know progress in the background um so you know this is interesting but not necessarily important the the biggest uh figure is to concentrate on is the performance and minus 10 percent that means i've lost 10 percent of everything that i've invested in the money box app um it's not great so clicking on the little information box there next to the the performance is, this is a really good reminder when it comes to investing it's important to focus on longer term goals you should expect to see the value of investments rise and fall along the way so whenever there's a stock market crash your investments are going to fall um you know, as I mentioned, the, the stock markets, you know, the FTSE, the NASDAQ, the Dow Jones, you know, all of those exchanges, they they drop somewhere in the region of 30 percent, plus or minus 10 percent, depending on, on uh, which market you're talking about. So it's a significant drop. Um, 
mutual funds, etc., are not impacted as much. Um, and the reason for that is for every time you're investing new money into it, um, money box is passing that money uh, or investing that money in, in those equity funds that I mentioned there, the Vanguard, the Fidelity and the iShares. And what they're able to do at the moment is to buy um, equity or funds in, in that mutual fund at a lower price um, because the, the share price of those companies within those funds is now lower because of the, the stock market crash. So this is a great time to continue investing into a mutual fund of this nature. The worst thing you can do at this stage is to think, oh, stock markets are down, there's been a crash, I should, I should you know, I've lost 10%, I've lost 15%, whatever you've lost. The worst thing you can do is think, oh, I need to sell it all and wait for the market to, to go back up and then start investing again. You know, I shouldn't be investing in a stock crash. That is the absolute opposite of the best thing to do. You know, you need to be investing more at this stage because you can buy it at a lower price. And the reason for that, we, you know, you're, you should be saving long term. So let me show you the chart for the S&P 500. S&P 500 is a good indication of the markets. So... This is the trend for the S&P 500 from 1981 to 2020. Markets go up. There's lots of scenarios in the middle here where it went up and crashed, went up and crashed. But the general trend is from, you know, the last 30 years is going up significantly. And if we go and look at a six months chart, this is where the crash happened. You know, it started here and went all the way down to here, 30% drop. What's going to happen over the next 5, 10, 20 years? We're going to go back to this scenario. It's going to go up. It's always going to trend up. So don't be afraid to stick in the market, stick, in, stick with your investments in the Moneybox app. And, you know, this really is, as I said, the best time to be investing more. You know, maybe if you have um, spare money aside, sitting as cash in your, in your bank account, put it into things like a mutual fund or the Moneybox app yourself and take advantage of the ability to buy them at a lower price at the moment. And you will reap the, the rewards over the long term. And forget about tracking the markets on a daily basis. It's, it's going to be a slow recovery. It's going to be one, two, three year recovery out, out of this drop. But if you're saving in the Moneybox app with a 5, 10, 20, even longer um, outlook, then you will take advantage of this drop um, and you will reap the, reap the benefits of that. Okay, so there we go. Just a quick look at the Moneybox app and just really wanted to do this video to reassure anyone that um, has been investing in via the Moneybox app in, in recent months or recent years. Don't panic, you know, there, there has been quite a severe stock market crash, but just be reassured that everything will be okay. The markets will return and, and that, that minus 10 or whatever um, performance you're seeing, minus 15, minus 20, you know, that will return. The best thing you can do is forget about the performance over the short term, you know, in the next three, six, 12 months, and think about the gains over the long term, five, 10, 20 years, um, and all, all will be fine. Um, so the other thing I wanted to say is, if you have any other questions about the Moneybox app, um, so Moneybox themselves have been very busy in, in recent months and uh, you know they've launched new products, they've been advertising heavily on, on the TV networks. Um, you know, they've launched the, the uh, Lifetime ISER uh, service, for example. So if you have any questions or comments on that, you know, just ask away. I'm happy to demonstrate anything or do uh, an in-depth look at the new services they're, they're offering. Um, so, yeah, comments away. But that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. Um, look out for my next video. If, if this was helpful and if my Moneybox app videos have been helpful to you, please subscribe or hit the like button or, as I said, you know, send me a, send me a comment. It, it all helps. And, uh, yeah, so looking forward to seeing any of your com comments on that. Um, so, yeah, bye for now. Take care, everyone, and stay safe. Stay at home. Adios.
Okay, that's it for today. I just wanted to 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 to. Oi. Hey, uh, so just wanted to 